Happy Monday, guys. I just want to quickly say hi, check in. What's everyone doing this week? I know a lot of you guys are on holidays. If you're on school holidays, I hope they're going well so far. Um, I did not get enough sleep this weekend, so I didn't go to the morning gym session today. I went to the evening one. I just finished from cardio. And let me tell you, I could feel everything I ate on the weekend coming back to haunt me. Like I could feel my stomach just brewing. It was disgusting. I was like, I feel like I'm going to throw up. <laughs> but anyway, we survived it. We didn't throw up. Um, but I am going to go inside now and go probably eat dinner and keep reading because I forgot to tell you guys I finished oh series going off I finished um reading the second Colleen book that I've read the first one was it ends with us then I read Verity which I know a lot of you guys were telling me how Verity is amazing it was insane like it was oh, Siri will not stop hang on a second okay what I was saying was Verity I'm not gonna give any spoilers but let me tell you this like, I haven't really read a thriller book before like that and there were multiple times reading it that I gasped out loud like I didn't think that a book could have that effect. I don't know. I guess because I'm so used to just watching like thriller films or horror films that I thought like reading a horror book, like in your head, you'd think like, oh wow, this is like the twists and turns, like it's, it's intense. The suspense is there, but I didn't think that it could have like that kind of almost jump scare effect. It's not a jump scare, but like, I don't know. It, it really did, like took me aback. I was like, holy moly. Anyway, definitely recommend it. If you're over like at least 16, I would say, um, but it was definitely a good read. I just spent the last 10 minutes looking for my car keys and my water bottle. They're nowhere. I'm actually convinced that a ghost has taken them because I've looked everywhere. So confirm the ghost was actually just an idiot that decided to leave her keys and her water bottle on her mum's dressing table. That idiot is me. So on this side, all is well. We have the editing going strong. But on this side, we've got this ankle being iced or foot being iced and elevated because I accidentally tripped when I was filming and sprained my foot. Well done.